Hey guys, in this video, we're gonna be talking about pregnenolone, the mother hormone, what its roles are in the body, why you wanna make sure that you have optimal levels of it, and how to improve its levels naturally. Pregnenolone is the basic precursor steroid hormone to the production of every other hormone in the body, hence its nickname, the mother hormone. It is a fruit of cholesterol, meaning that cholesterol being the basic raw material for the production of every hormone, produces first and foremost pregnenolone, which later becomes DHEA, and from that point can be turned into, depending on the hormonal pathway it takes, cortisol, estrogen, progesterone, testosterone, and ultimately every other steroid hormone produced in the body. Now, pregnenolone is a very important hormone, not just because of the fact that it produces every other hormone, so not having enough of it is going to obviously lead to hormonal imbalances and deficiencies, but pregnenolone is one of the basic hormones produced in youth and health. In a healthy young person or animal, the brain, the adrenal glands, and the gonads have a very high concentration of this hormone, and it is essential for protecting the body from the negative or toxic effects of stress. So very similar to progesterone, just not as potent in its effect, it is a basic anti-stress substance that mitigates the toxic or degenerative effects of the stress hormones cortisol and estrogen. For for example, when the body is deficient in pregnenolone, very similar to when it's deficient in progesterone, there's a greater production of and reliance of cortisol or cortisone, the primary stress hormone secreted by the adrenal glands under chronic stress or a pregnenolone and progesterone deficiency. And very high levels of cortisol can rapidly age the body by catabolizing the tissues, causing a loss of pigment in the skin and hair, so it can lead to skin aging and hair aging. However, on the contrary, when your body's producing enough pregnenolone, which remember again is largely produced in the brain. That's where it has its highest concentration produced by various brain cells. It's been found that pregnenolone can have a very powerful anti-stress and anti-toxic effect. For example, when the brain has high levels of pregnenolone, the brain cells are protected from the damaging effects or injury that could be induced by chronic fatigue and chronic stress. So this is the basic importance of pregnenolone is because without it, your body is much more vulnerable and susceptible to stress. However, when you have a higher concentration of pregnenolone, as young, healthy people typically do, the effects of stress are much less, meaning that higher pregnenolone levels means a greater resistance or resilience to stress in its aging and degenerative effects. So in addition to pregnenolone's basic anti-stress and anti-toxic or protective effects, pregnenolone has also been associated with other positive benefits. For example, when applied topically, pregnenolone is known to have a very beneficial effect on the skin. When applied to the face, it's been known to help reverse wrinkles and the signs of aging and sort of tighten and lift the skin, which is due to its effect on circulation. It can actually improve blood circulation to the skin tissue in the face, which helps to obviously provide a sort of natural facelift. But at the same time, it actually helps muscle-like cells in your skin contract, which can tighten the collagen in the various fibers and proteins in your skin, making your skin tighter and more youthful. And it's not just the skin tissue that pregnenolone improves the elasticity and function of. It it improves overall body tissue. So this includes various organs and internal tissues, like the lungs, for example, and even the tissues that make up your muscle, so your muscle tissue. So it can have a beneficial effect on improving things like arthritis and mobility issues. There's even studies that have found that has an antifibrotic effect and can improve the elasticity of the lung tissue, largely due to its anti-estrogen effects or its ability to oppose estrogen, which can lead to fibrosis by inducing edema and inflammation. So overall, the primary benefit of pregnenolone is that it has this major anti-stress effect and mitigates the stressful or toxic effects of stress hormones like cortisol and estrogen, which is going to result in many additional health benefits, such as the improvement of the skin health and skin elasticity. It has a very anti-aging effect on the skin, the muscular skeletal system, and it can even improve eye health and eyesight, and of course, plays a major role in proper brain function due to its natural high concentration in the brain. So now that you have a better understanding of what pregnenolone is, what it does, and why you want optimal levels of this 
anti-stress hormone, let's quickly talk about now how you can go about optimizing the levels of pregnenolone in your body naturally. So there's a couple different routes that you can take. One is obviously going to be the use of bioidentical pregnenolone. So I'm not a fan of using synthetic hormones whatsoever. I would never recommend that at all. However, there are bioidentical hormonal supplements that can be used as short-term therapy to restabilize and restore your natural hormone levels. Now, pregnenolone, keep in mind, has more of a vitamin-like effect than it does the effect of, let's say, a bioidentical hormone like progesterone. So if you're taking a bioidentical pregnenolone, this is going to be treated more or less like a supplement. You never want to replace any of the hormones in your body. But pregnenolone is something that you can take a low dose of in a bioidentical form to start to correct some of the symptoms and side effects of high stress. Whereas something like progesterone, you can take one strong dose of and it'll have a sustained and lasting effect for months, if not years. Whereas the use of a bioidentical pregnenolone might only last in the body for upwards to a week, which is why it's going to be really important that you also take proactive steps to support your body's natural production of this key hormone. And I have a couple of very simple things you can do to help you achieve that goal. So one of the most important things to understand about pregnenolone, if you want to improve your production of it, is what it's made of. So I mentioned this in the first part of the video, but pregnenolone is the byproduct or the fruit of cholesterol. So cholesterol is the basic raw material for the production of every hormone. And the first hormone your body will make is pregnenolone. But in order to turn cholesterol into pregnenolone, you need a couple of key things. You need vitamin A for the enzymatic synthesis of cholesterol into pregnenolone. But in addition to both cholesterol and vitamin A, you need healthy and adequate thyroid hormone production. If any of these things are lacking, then your body's ability to produce pregnenolone will become impaired. So the basic things that you need is adequate cholesterol intake through the consumption of healthy animal products, ideally. So cholesterol-rich foods are going to be important for producing adequate supplies of pregnenolone and other steroid hormones. Keep in mind your liver does produce its own cholesterol, but at the same time, stress increases your body's demands of cholesterol. So if you're stressed out, then your body needs more cholesterol probably than your liver is producing naturally. And let's face it, most people in the modern world are dealing with some sort of stress and they need to supply their body with extra nutrition. This is why you see athletes, people in the army and the navy, anybody undergoing vigorous stress or exercise stress, they always increase their nutritional density to supply their body with the extra fuel that it needs to stay healthy and balanced. And because of how stressful the modern world is, I think most people need to be eating in a way where they're supplying their body with more than adequate nutrition. So you're definitely going to want to make sure that you're getting a healthy intake of dietary cholesterol. Beyond that point, you need to make sure you're getting enough vitamin A, which you're only going to find in animal products. Beta carotenoids have to be synthesized and converted into retinol via the liver, which requires a lot of liver energy. And the conversion rate of beta carotenoid into retinol is about 0.2%. And unfortunately, too much beta carotenoid can result in carotinemia or vitamin A toxicity. So you're usually better off getting it through high quality animal foods like pastured egg yolks, pastured or grass-fed butter and ghee, or high quality grass-fed liver. In addition to getting adequate cholesterol and vitamin A, remember you need thyroid hormone to be produced in adequate amounts to produce pregnenolone. And this is because pregnenolone is produced in the mitochondria through mitochondrial respiration. And it is actually the thyroid hormone which delivers oxygen to the mitochondria to respirate and produce pregnenolone, where it then leaves the mitochondria so that way it doesn't inhibit its own synthesis. So if you're hypothyroid and not producing enough thyroid hormone, then your mitochondria are likely not getting the adequate amount of oxygen it needs to respirate and produce pregnenolone. And one of the major reasons people have hypothyroidism and low levels of pregnenolone is because they have too much estrogen in the body. Estrogen is one of the basic opposing hormones to thyroid hormone because on a mitochondrial level, it actually steals oxygen from the mitochondria, making it incapable of respirating and causing it to suffocate or hyperventilate. So both low thyroid and high estrogen, which usually accompany one another, are going to be a major reason that you're not producing enough pregnenolone because your mitochondria is not capable of respirating and producing pregnenolone. So in addition to getting cholesterol and vitamin A through the 
tips I recommended, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're doing everything possible to improve thyroid function and reduce estrogen levels. And there are actually many things you're gonna to wanna to be aware of in regards to improving thyroid function and lowering estrogen levels. We talk about this throughout the YouTube channel, so definitely be sure to browse our YouTube channel for different videos, for different tips on improving thyroid function and lowering estrogen. But for those of you interested in learning about how to do all these things in one central location at one time in a step-by-step -step fashion, definitely be sure to check out our Perfect Thyroid course, which you can find on our Online Wellness Academy in the description box below. And that brings this video to a close. If you've enjoyed it and found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the YouTube channel if you haven't yet already. And for those of you interested in learning more beyond this YouTube channel, for checking out the Perfect Thyroid course or any of our other online courses, be sure to check out the description box below for links to our Online Wellness Academy, our blog, and our tonic herb shop.